Hi guys. In this video I'm going to do something pretty weird. It's, uh, it's something that I wanted to do from the moment I found out it's possible. I'm going to run laptop DDR2 in a desktop with DDR2 memory. In order to do this you need an adapter that is uh, pretty cheap on eBay. Let me just take it out. I've never tried it uh, before. Is it actually stuck? Yeah, I think it's stuck. And hopefully it will work and it doesn't have any problems. Okay, this is the adapter. It is a little bit big, but yeah, not really a problem. And it seems you just stick the memory in like you would do in a laptop. This is a, a stick of 512 megabytes of RAM from a weird company that I've never heard of. So let's put this in. It seems to be entering pretty, pretty hard in here. Let me just try in a different position. Okay, you can see it entered. And now clip it in place and this should be it. Des uh, laptop DDR2 to uh, desktop DDR2. Let me just show you the configuration. This, this is an uh, Asus PC. We are going to test this on. Let me just zoom in on CPU Z info here. This is what we are running at the moment. One of the memory sticks is a Kingston and the other one is a Hyundai Electronics. Really weird for memory but it is what it is. And we are running in a symmetric dual channel. 2 gigs of RAM. One, uh, two modules uh, of 1 gig. So yeah. Let's uh, shut down this PC. I will try to do this uh, in one go if possible. Cut the power completely from this uh, PC. I've taken out the graphics card just to have more uh, room so we are running on the integrated card at the moment. I took out the Kingston and let's put in this memory and now I'm realizing that actually there could be some interference problem if you see here between uh, the one that's already in and this module so I actually did it wrong and why I sorry cannot really talk today I will move the remaining stick uh, into the second memory slot so I don't have interference problems maybe I could have done it without but I just don't want to risk it. And now running this uh, cable through here because it is it was in my way before. The CPU cooler cable actually is in my way of putting in the memory. So I will take it out for a moment. If we, I would actually manage to put this memory in ok, clipped clipped in the lower part also plug in the CPU cooler give it power and turn it on
and for the moment we don't have video so yeah first one did not work but there is another problem uh, these two slots are not really good so sometimes even uh, his uh, or its standard memory doesn't make good contact so could be that let me just stop the video and try to reset the both memories and see if it starts if not we will continue with the one gig and two gigs or laptop uh, sticks and i was right the memory was not properly seated i have to clean a little bit those two slots because uh, it's a little bit annoying for a moment i thought it will not work At this point we should have 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. The PC is running normally. I have no idea if it recognized the RAM or we are running only with 1 gigabyte. This will take a little bit of time because Avira is loading. For the other two sticks of memory I will uh, just uh, come back to you when it's already in CPU Z so you do not have to wait so much but for this one I want to show you the whole process now we reload it now it should go a little bit faster and and then and, and yes 1.5 gigabytes dual symmetric Hyundai the one that we left in and the second one, the weird company. So yeah, we are running one stick of uh, desktop, one gigabyte memory, and one stick of 512 megabytes laptop memory. Pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to shut down and change to the other one gigabyte stick of laptop memory. And we're back with the Samsung one gigabyte stick. just show you the one that we left in desktop and this is laptop memory so it is running perfectly and again dual channel symmetric no problems so this is pretty awesome next I'm going to go to the 2 gigabytes of uh, laptop memory to see if that works uh, I just want to tell you this is not uh, really cost effective uh, but uh, it's really fun <laughs> uh, and it's a good way of testing uh, laptop memory if you don't have a laptop you can test it in your desktop PC uh, if you already have laptop memory laying around uh, it begins being cost effective if uh, your memory is at least 2 gigabytes something like that because this adapter in my country is uh, about the price, uh, the price of 1 gigabyte of RAM. So if you already have uh, 2 gigabytes of laptop memory, it is worth uh, buying this. Although you could sell the laptop memory and buy directly desktop. That is up to you. But I like doing stuff like this and I've never seen the, somebody running a desktop with laptop memory until now. So yeah, it's fun for me. So let's shut this down and go to the 2 gigs of RAM. And we're back with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Hyundai Electronics and second one, Kimonda. I have no clue who they are. But this is again laptop memory, running perfectly with uh, desktop memory together. Of course, these types of adapters uh, exist for every type of memory. You just have to want to use them or uh, have the need to use them. But again, I think it's pretty fun. So, yeah, this has been my test. Everything is working perfectly. I'm going to shut down. 
and remove it and show it one last time before we end the video and we are off remove completely the power from the PC and this is the memory that we were using just now hopefully my camera focuses on it this is pretty cool a little bit big but really nice for uh, persons that uh, work with uh, this type of memory it's way easier to test them in a desktop than in a laptop for example so yeah okay I'm going to take this out, put back the desktop memory and end this video. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, like the video if you liked it, subscribe, check out my other videos and see you again in the next one. Bye.